Xiaobi Kim won't officially be Taiwan's vice president until May 20th. Yet that isn't stopping the former legislator of Hualien County from ensuring disaster victims in Hualien to receive help from the government. On Thursday morning, Xiao, Premier Chen Tianren and a host of lawmakers inspected earthquake damage in the eastern county, which will be receiving a significant amount of disaster relief and subsidies. Premier Chen Jianren and Vice President-elect Xiao Bikim traveled to Hualien to inspect earthquake damage. They went to the Eastern County's Emergency Operations Center, where they were joined by DPP lawmaker Puma Shen, KMT lawmaker Fu Quenxi, and Hualien County Commissioner Xu Jianwei. In terms of living arrangements and rent subsidies, in the short term and mid term, this will probably be something the central and local governments will work on together. The marble industry has suffered extremely significant damages. So for this aspect, we'll be asking the Ministry of Economic Affairs for assistance. As for crop losses caused by transportation problems, we'll probably need the executive yuan's assistance. The industry that will be harmed the most is tourism, which means we'll likely need to think about tax cuts across the board, because this place here is now a disaster area. The Directorate General of Budget, Accounting and Statistics has first allocated 300 million NT to the county government, which county officials can use for emergency purposes. Residents in disaster areas will be able to receive emergency relief, cash supplements for survivors and temporary wage subsidies. Income will also be tax exempt. Taiwan's biggest quake in 25 years caused a fire to break out at a lab belonging to National Donghua University's College of Science and Engineering. Flames severely damaged over 3,300 square meters of university property. They'll be providing full support for the facilities and equipment here. If there are aspects that involve communicating with private companies and needing government permission, then our Ministry of Economic Affairs will be giving complete support to the Ministry of Education with work being done here. Xiao, who represented the DPP in Hualien from 2010 to 2020, led a visit to the university that featured economics minister Wang Meihua and education minister Pan Wenzhong. Xiao promised the university that they would receive the government's full support. Now we know. We know that at first people in damaged buildings need to be saved, but after that's done, we must then help the people return to their normal lives. There are many different tasks and jobs that need to be done, and for these things, we'll definitely be working with officials from our current administration. After witnessing disaster areas, Vice President-elect Xiao and current Premier Chen are determined to rebuild Hualien as fast as possible.